Hi everybody, it's Nancy at Needlefish Yarns coming from sunny Florida. I just have a few things to announce for you today that's going to change a lot of things. Um, some of it's show and tell, but that's okay because I get a right to brag every once in a great while. So the first thing I want to show you um, is something I just finished, but I wanted to tell you first too. I am wearing, and you can't see it all the way, but this is a gradient. Um, it's the ED Top by Isabel Kramer, and we made it in concentric cotton, which is a gradient from the dark purple, and it does go into the light purple. I'd lift this up, but that would be dangerous. So, anyway, let's talk about what I just finished. It was so much fun. Everybody likes Stephen West, and the thing I like about him is that he teaches you why you knit. So let me show you. This is his Slip Stravaganza. And I made this, it's a fingering weight. It's a, uh, just slip stitches. That's why he calls it a slip stravaganza. I mean, look at the detail in this. Nine hundred and fifty stitches in the end. I made this with Emma's Super Silky, four skeins of Emma's, and one skein of uh, Spun Right Round. It was one of the most fun projects I've ever done. I really enjoyed it. Um, don't be afraid to dive into something, even though it looks scary. The nice thing is Stephen has tutorials on YouTube for every section, so you never get confused. So that's number one. Hello. Have a good one. You too. Number beautiful two. Day. It is. It is a beautiful day down here. It's sunny. Second, Barocco Yarns carries a yarn from Switzerland called Lang, L-A-N-G, and they make beautiful yarns. We've gotten a couple of their yarns this spring, and one of them is called Linello, and it's a it's a linen blend. This is the Linello. It is really gorgeous. has a beautiful drape. It is 40% linen, 32% cotton, and 28% viscose from bamboo. So you're talking natural fibers here as well. It knits up beautifully, has a great drape, and they have sent us a shop model and a pattern book with all sorts of beauty in it. This is the shawl they sent us. Isn't this stunning? We also had one of our customers, Jasmine, make the Linum T, L-I-N-U-M. Just drapes beautifully and um, looks great on her. So that's a uh, great thing to think about for spring. Number three, I've got a surprise coming and we're gonna launch it in a, a week or two. I'm just finishing the final touches on it, but something for you to pamper yourself and to feel good about getting over this whole year of whatever you want to label it. I'm hoping we're rounding that corner. Um, Pam, Sue, and I have all been vaccinated, which brings me to my final and great point. This is why I wanted to give the Facebook Live. We are going to open up social knitting a little bit. So starting this Saturday, we will have social knitting from 10 a.m. to noon. There are some ground rules, but we're really excited to see people back in the shop. We are going to limit the people in the shop to 12 people. That means we'll have six in the back and six in the front. You will be socially distanced. Everyone must wear a mask. Number two, you must sign up. That's the way we're going to do it right now, just so that people won't be traveling and find out they don't have a place to sit. So you need to either call us or come into the shop to sign up. You can only sign yourself up. You cannot sign up a group of people because that wouldn't be fair either or save seats. But we're really hoping that we can bring you back in the shop safely and really enjoy seeing all of you again. Hi, Tina. Um, it's been a long year without customers and, and community in the shop. So Saturday, 10 to noon, social knitting, mask on, sign up either here in the shop or give us a call. Please do not email us because we don't see our emails quickly and we don't want you to miss out on signing up, but cannot wait to see all of you. Um, we're really looking forward to rounding that corner safely and securely and, 
and following the rules. So please come and join us and we'll see you soon. Bye.